Riding. Tossed up the wall and deflected into the middle. Labar again. What a move around a man. Firing in and a great save there. But can move like the wind. 20 years old, 5'11", 165, is a wraparound chance here, and Sparner scores! That's Inlow. As Inlow's hit hard to the ice there by Sloan. One lucky wraparound shot for CPJ, got him up on the board. And then... Nice little cut to the middle, and a great save there. And as the games move on, we'll bring you more scores from around the league, around the showcase, and Wichita scores! That was number 25, Eric Back, and it's a two to one lead. Now the CPJHL will move the other direction, walking on into the offensive zone. The pass comes across and they score! They score! It's Gamelin that ties the game, and it's two to two. Oh, so this Ornelius over the back. They get a pass going to Weingartner. He waits, or he passes it back to Ornelius in. Tips up off the glove of Redmond and it goes in and Wichita will now lead three to two. And they're gonna have a good chance to do it this season as that shot will be sticked away there by the Hitton Wildcats goaltender. Another puck through, the shot comes on. The Eagles score! They break open the scoring! Showing up back door, being where you're supposed to be, and that's the testament to the coaching staff right there. Looking in. Nice little play and looking in the middle. Tipped on. Great save there by Dupuy. It's loose in the middle. Another great save by Dupuy. A third and fourth save by Dupuy again. And somehow that puck stays out. Your goaltender can only hold you in it for so long. That's an excellent point. Another oh. shot comes on. And what a goal. Finding the puck over the top of Dupuy. It was number 21. That was Vanderwall. And it's 4-0. Point. A one-time shot there was fanned on. Here comes Hinton back the other direction. Moving in ahead. They move in. On the back end, they score! It's Keys! And it's 4-2! And it will be moved back up the ice one more time. Breaking into the zone now are the Eagles. Across. The shot. They score! Coming back in the other direction. Here come the Northern Colorado Eagles. That's Anderson. Anderson, one of their Swedes, plays it to the front of the net, and they score! Koloski, and now behind the net, Korsak again. He gets destroyed there by Brian Gowan behind the cage. Skolowski in front, they score! Oh, what a tough break for Mac Kelly. That one taking it off his back. Odunia, nice shot on the rebound that's loose, they score! It's Soderstrom in front of the net! He was on the ground when he wheeled it in. And Mullins can't clear the zone. Well, these flyers could really yet need a zone clearance as they've got to be a bit tired now. Back out in front, they score! And Matt is normally the guy who does the flyers games. They score! Tristan Ward takes a pass off the wall. And it's a three to two game with 19 seconds to go. Saved by Server, as that was a dump in more than anything else. Another shot on save by Server. It's loose in the middle. Server can't find it. Pressuring there is War. Puck pops up in the air. San Augustine behind. Plays it in front. They score! That's Moros. He ties the game. It's 3-3. Three to three. Really fly and skate. This line's played a good game tonight. Moros, a fake shot to the middle. War, a great save there. And how did that not go in? For this server, they get the extra attacker on. Puck is played at the side, to the middle, across. They score! They score! And it's a four to four tie game. That is Merrick Velikak. We'll throw it back in. Here's Moros in on a break. He shoots it, and a great save by server. Now shooting for CPJHL Black is Paul Hausler. Hausler. Moving on in, he shoots, he scores! Corsak could win the game. A nice little move, and he can't finish it on the forehand. And it will now be Tristan War. Slowly moves his way to the middle, walking on in, fires it, he missed the net! And the Valencia Flyers, after coming back and taking the lead from being three goals down, lose it in a shootout. Shot at the side of the net. Great save by Duffy as he goes full split and he's able to hold on to the rebound. Watch. As here they come back the other direction. It's Hordoff. Hordoff for Ontario. He scores. What a shot there from Hordoff. 
Ben. Another blast, that was blocked. Here comes Ontario. Cole Parker's out of the box. Here is Declan Curtis on the forehand. He scores! Declan Curtis! And it's a 5-0 Ontario lead. And that's Meadow Lake, but the puck was rimmed around and will come out. And here's Declan Curtis on a breakaway. In, he scores! Declan Curtis gets his second goal of the night. And uh-oh, here we go, we have a breakaway. It's Jeremy Van Dyke moving in on the forehand. Backhand, he scores! So Jeremy Van Dyke makes this an 8-0 game as he gets a tap on the back from Deschler, Corrigan, and Maycock. He probably would have hit the referee. As a shot comes on, that was tipped. It goes off the top of the net, it's loose. They score! What a weird goal! That ricocheted off the top of the net. It's pucks being shot at a blistering speed. Now to the middle, the puck comes through the middle part of the slot and it will ricochet to the side. Another shot comes on and a big save there. Aberdeen a try and Ontario scores again.